one of my favorite movies. Um, well, that's so okay. I thought on the flight here, I was like, God damn, I didn't think of my letterbox films. I just joined her app. It's taking over the nation. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying to take over the world. Oh, that's really cool. Should I pick some action movies? I liked No Retreat, No Surrender when I was a kid a lot because Bruce Lee would appear to this kid in his mirror and teach him how to fight. I love Bruce Lee and I, I wanted that to be my life and it made me love movies because I thought, oh God, anything's possible in movies. Enter the Dragon. I mean, I always say Jaws. People are sick of hearing me say that, but it's an incredible, perfect film. I love Eternal Sunshine. Jumanji is one of my favorite movies. You have to go with, in no particular order, Hooper. Wizard of Oz. Green Mile. I love Cocoon. Lawrence of Arabia. Happy Gilmore, obviously. I love When Harry Met Sally so deeply. Saving Private Ryan. To be a little fancier, Un Homme et Un Femme, which has a fantastic stuntman character and also like a love story that's really reminiscent of this. I like uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. The Big Lebowski. Gone with the Wind. Emily. The Decalogue is a 10 part series by Krzysztof Kieslowski. I don't know if I can choose which one of the 10, but I'm going to choose the 10 series as one of them. The Stuntman, of course, which is uh, Peter O'Toole and is like, uh, is, is just a wonderful movie start to finish. Beautiful Mind. Die Hard. Romancing the Stone. I must have seen it 50 times. I think for me, my favorite love stories are the ones that aren't too serious, too earnest. They're messy, they're chaotic, they're their life. Training Day is a favorite of mine. Y tu mama tambien, I love from back in the day. My last favorite film was a childhood favorite that feels like it needs to get up there, which was Flubber. I need to rewatch it because I don't know why I loved it so much, but it was a very formative film for me. The man that has ruined me for all other men because no one will ever compare. Dirty Dancing. I remember being there, 13 years old, and once it had finished, literally going <laughs> in the in the cinema, I was shook by Patrick Swayze. There's not been a man ever since who's been as hot as Patrick Swayze. Bless him. The Matrix. Rocky. The Last Samurai. So I love epic movies. I want to say Night Moves with Gene Hackman, but the bad guy is a stuntman. So I think I'll go with this insane Australian like exploitation flick called Stunt Rock, which is a rock opera set in the stunt community. That's like pure letterbox fodder. Yeah.